In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the Ken Burns style to your photos in Premiere Pro. So if you take any of our practice photos, thank you to Alice Krivek for this photo they posted on unsplash.com of these beautiful mountains. The Ken Burns effect is a, an effect that he popularized in his documentaries where he basically zooms in and out of his photos or pans across a photo to add a little bit more dynamic energy to them and also to add reveals when he pans from one thing to the next in the same photo or zooms in or out to kind of bring the audience along and tell a story with just a simple photo. So to do that, we're going to use a keyframe animation in our effect control panel. So I have this photo and say we want to just do a slow zoom out of this. I can take my scale and first we're gonna zoom it in. And so right now we can't really see what this is all about, this whole photo. And I'm going to set a keyframe by pressing the toggle animation button it adds this little diamond, which I'm actually going to click and drag over to the very beginning of this photo. And then I'm going to zoom out. And so if I just drag the scale down until the full photo is within our frame, and I wanna do it till the full photo is in the frame without any black on the edges, so something like 29 looks good. Then I have to move this keyframe to the end of this clip, however long it is, because right now it just zooms out kind of fast and then stops. But if I move this to the end of the clip, what's happening now is from this keyframe to the next one, it's animating the scale because it's telling Premiere Pro that at this point in time, at the very beginning of the clip, I want the scale to be 32. At the last keyframe, which I can jump to with this button, I want it to be 29, okay? So we've created this basic zooming out effect for this photo. Let's take another photo, let's take the office and do a little pan. So let's zoom this in. We're gonna do sort of a pan zoom out. So we're gonna start up here. And I like my pans and zooms to be quite subtle, but we'll do it a little bit more intense for this one. So if I set a keyframe now for both scale and position, we're telling Premiere Pro that at the very beginning of the clip, I want it to be at this position, at this scale. And then I'm gonna zoom out to, let's say something like this and pan over, maybe zoomed in just a little bit more. So we start at the clock and we end at a full shot of the office. Remember, I'm gonna take these keyframes, drag them over to the right, all the way to the end of this clip. And now we are zooming out, panning, and revealing the entire shot. Now, something that Ken Burns also does is he might have motion pause or stop and then continue to stay on that same photo. So if I just extend this clip now, we will zoom out and pan but it's gonna be a sort of an abrupt stop. So what we can do is select these keyframes right here, right click, under temporal interpolation, you can change the timing of these. So linear, which it's the default setting, basically the animation speed is the same throughout the entire animation. So from the first keyframe to the last one, it's going to change the position and scale at the same rate. If we choose ease in or ease out, or one of these Bezier options, it's actually going to ramp up or down the speed so that when it gets to this final keyframe, it should actually slow down. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to choose ease in. So it's gonna slow down, and you can see it there, how it's different than the linear option where it slows down and it's a much more natural motion. You can also click down these little arrows and you can see these little graphs right here. And they have these handles that are extending from where the keyframe is. And if you click and drag that, let's select this keyframe and then we click that 
handle. If we drag that further away from the keyframe, what's actually happening is that ramping effect is going to be a little bit more slow or more of a ramp. So see here now, if we play through this, it really slows into that. And so this is more of an advanced way to do this. And you can do the same thing in the beginning by taking these keyframes, moving them out. And when I do that, it changes from linear, which is represented by the diamond icon, to more of this hourglass bezier icon. So here we get sort of a ramp. It kind of slows, and then it speeds up, and then slows down. If I want to change the speed of this, make it faster, I can just take these keyframes and drag them to the left because now I'm saying that I want this whole animation to be faster. I can also drag to the right to slow it down even more. Cool. So that's the Ken Burns effect and a couple advanced tips with playing with the timing of your keyframes. I hope this helps you and we'll see you in another video.